Hey, y'all, it's me. I want to take you on a journey, a journey of how I turned a plain little armoire into a beautiful, colorful Mexican serape and a journey to Mexico. I'm going to tell you about my weight loss journey. You're thinking, what does weight loss have to do with Mexico? Well, in my case, it's got a lot to do with it. <laughs> I love tools. So I'm going to use this sander and we're going to sand off the sides. We're going to sand the top and I'm going to use dark and decrepit. I've never used dark and decrepit. And I know I need to get all of this old stain off of this piece. My whole life I have battled weight. I've always battled it. The last straw was when I decided to go on the Atkins diet. Literally, I had gained like 10 or 15 pounds. I'm like, who does that? I started on the inside first using my Mr. Bottle from the Turquoise Iris. I mixed a beautiful blue color using Hay Sailor and White Swan. And then I just slathered it all over the inside. It looks fantastical. Now, I just need to tell you, my sister is a research queen. You know, I'm like one of these, I just jump out there and do it. She had been researching weight loss surgery for a year and a half, two years. And finally one day I decided, you know what? That's exactly what I am gonna do. I researched it all of five minutes. Now the plan here was to measure off all of these sections for different colors. I wanted to create a beautiful serape, and that was the plan. But the more I mixed and the more I added, I just didn't like what I saw. At this point, I hate it. The surgeons and the hospital was over in Tijuana, Mexico. Big day arrived. Now, we have never flown. Here we look like two hicks from the sticks done come to town. It was my turn to go through the little thing. That little thing looks like a glass, yeah. I went through there and you know what happened? The thing went off and they were like, man, we have to search you. I'm like, search me for what? Here, I just decided to start blending. I had already redone that top over again. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna blend those, those little colors together. That was a mistake. It was a hot mess, even worse than the first time. I just made a big mess. I'm like, ah, I hate it. I did love the bottom half though. It turned out beautiful. So I just started over and I redone it again. And I just kept working and working and working. And finally, it all came together. And she's like, well, I don't know why that thing went off. I'm like, oh, my hair. Ma'am, I've got pins in my hair. And she's like, I'm gonna have to feel your hair. Now, if you know me at all, you know you don't touch my hair. You know I'm a little extra. So I decided to use the JRV Mexican embroidery stencil right in the center where the two shelves would be. I used Kissing Booth for a pop of color. I turned around and used that same stencil on the outside of this beautiful piece. It's turning out fabulous. I had never ever flown in an airplane. And in my little heart, I always wanted to sit by the window. I'm like, okay, I can do this. We got on board and I'm thinking, where's the seats? These seats are postage stamps and my behind is not gonna fit on that postage stamp. This wasn't a good idea. I should have got on the aisle seat. At this point, I have taken dark and decrepit liquid patina and I wasn't sure that this would work, but I decided to just experiment and it does work. So on to the sides and the top of this piece, I'm gonna put dark and decrepit patina on it. Um, it's turning out gorgeous. I was told that a driver would contact me. His name was Victor, very nice man. But Victor didn't speak a whole lot of English. 
my husband knows a little bit of Spanish enough to embarrass me. And so, yeah, yeah, you can imagine everything he's trying to say, he would say in English and he would end it with an O. Hello, my name O is Arto. I'm like, just talk normal. I took a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and I am just working on all the edges, just distressing it just a little bit to make it look that old and worn, decrepit look. Yeah, I look like I'm spitting on this. I'm not, I promise. <laughs> I'm just blowing off the dust. So we get to the hotel and honestly, it was very, very, very nice. We paid a little bit extra and got a balcony. It was just nice. And I'm, I'm over here, okay, I love Mexican food. And I'm thinking, what am I gonna do? I'm not even gonna be able to eat. And I'm thinking, you know, why did of all the times I come over here like to have weight loss surgery, I could have came over here to just eat because I love Mexican food and this is the real deal over here. But no, I'm my first visit to Mexico, I'm gonna go have weight loss surgery. Next, I'm using dark and decrepit patina. This is a top coat. I'm using it as a stain. I'm using water in between just to make the patina flow. I love how this turns out. It just looks like a really dark, rich stain. So we're sitting there in our room and I'm like, I want the broth, I want the jello, and I want the popsicle. I want it all. I mean, load me down with all of that stuff. Well, my husband's like, you know, I think I'll just order, hey, they've got pizza on this menu. I'll order pizza. <laughs> you know that old saying, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. Well, when you in Mexico, you eat what the Mexicans eat. You don't eat pizza in Mexico. I have let this piece dry for 24 hours and now I am applying the big top top coat. And as you can see, the colors just start popping out. The more you apply, the prettier it gets. Now, this big top dries really quick, so you have to work fast. But I love big top, and I love the way it just makes the colors look richer. See how pretty it looks? It's all coming together now. I love it. Then he uncovered his pizza. <laughs> the pizza was a sausage pizza. Well, their sausage over there is hot dogs to us. It was a hot dog pizza. It had little cut up hot dogs all over it. It's almost finished. I have replaced the handles and knobs back onto the piece and the dark and decrepit just makes it pop. Surgery went well. We came back to the hotel to stay the next two nights. We're sitting out on the balcony. It's beautiful. And then I smelled it and every taste bud in my mouth came alive. <laughs> it was fajitas, the smell of fajitas, drifting up into my nostrils. Almost made me come up over the top of that balcony and just jump down on the middle of that table and say, I'm here, I'm here for the fajitas. It always amazes me how you can take something that is really plain and just absolutely turn it into a work of art with gorgeous DIY chalk paints. Here are all of the colors that I used in this project. Probably six months later, my hubby decided he wanted to do that. So I was very supportive of that. First same hotel and went through the surgery great. We got back to the hotel. Next day, I get to order fajitas and my hubby had to drink chicken broth. I said, I'm so sorry. Here she is, the finished product. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me as I transformed this plain little armoire into a beautiful, colorful Mexican serape and the journey down memory lane right back to Mexico where my weight loss journey really began. For any of these products that I used in this video, See the description box below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the post notifications button to be in the know for the next video. And as always, love y'all.